A single mother, facing a judge for a parking ticket, brings her young daughter along. The judge, upon seeing the child, makes a surprising gesture. He invites her to sit beside him and inquires if she's hungry. The little girl's affirmative response sets the stage for a truly unexpected decision. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. In Providence, Rhode Island, a young mother approached the courthouse, her six-year-old daughter's hand clutched tightly in hers. A simple parking ticket, a mere dollar one hundred fine, loomed large in their lives. While the sum may seem insignificant, for this single mother, it was a significant worry. Entering the courtroom, nervousness filled the air. The mother's eyes scanned the faces, searching for any sign of leniency, while Janice, her daughter, remained blissfully unaware of the potential financial burden this day could bring. Wide-eyed and innocent, she explored the unfamiliar surroundings, oblivious to the gravity of the situation. Silence cloaked the mother as she sat, head bowed. A practiced plea danced on her lips, a fragile hope her only weapon. Single-handedly raising Janice, she knew the dollar one hundred fine wasn't just a number. As a waitress, her long hours barely covered the basics, and the looming ticket threatened to push them back to the brink. The incident itself was a desperate act, a quick curbside stop to pick up Janice's medication, a dash into the drugstore, and a dash back. Now the ticket threatened to plunge them deeper into financial hardship. Judge Frank Caprio entered the courtroom, his gaze immediately drawn to the young mother and daughter. A familiar warmth filled him. He always appreciated children's presence in the courtroom, their innocence a welcome respite from the often heavy atmosphere. As the mother's case was called, she stepped forward, her voice steady but laced with an undeniable undercurrent of stress. Her explanation of the parking violation was clear and honest, revealing a difficult situation. Your Honor, it was a mistake, she began. She recounted the day's events, emphasizing the urgency of Janice's medication. Having just finished her shift at the first of her three daily jobs, she had only a few minutes to juggle a multitude of tasks. The mother carefully measured her words, avoiding excessive details about her financial struggles in her daughter's presence. However, she subtly hinted at the gravity of her situation. Judge Caprio listened intently, his gaze shifting between the mother and daughter. He understood the mother's struggle and respected her composure. He saw the delicate balance she was trying to maintain. On one hand, she acknowledged her mistake and accepted the legal consequences, but the fine would be a significant burden. On the other hand, she shielded her daughter from the harsh reality of their situation. Judge Caprio looked at the mother, then at Janice, then back again. A twinkle entered his eyes as he turned to Janice. His voice, warm and grandfatherly, broke the courtroom's usual tension. Janice, he said, would you like to come up here and help me? The unexpected invitation surprised everyone. Janice hesitated. Curiosity peaked. She glanced at her mother, receiving a reassuring nod, and walked towards the bench. Judge Caprio provided a small stool so they could be eye to eye. Once settled, he asked gently, So, Janice, how has your day been? His soft voice invited the girl's trust. A small smile formed on her face as she replied, It's okay. Judge Caprio then explained the situation surrounding her mom's parking ticket. Using simple words and avoiding any legal jargon a six-year-old wouldn't understand. With the entire courtroom watching Janice intently, he explained she had a role to play in the decision. He presented three options. Her mom could pay the full fine, pay only a portion of it, or, if she had any other ideas, they could explore them, too. The usual courtroom formality dissolved as everyone focused on the interaction between the judge and the young girl. Janice's brow furrowed as she processed the weight of the decision placed on her young shoulders. After careful consideration, she turned to Judge Caprio and declared, My mom should only pay $1.50. Her voice, though small, held a clear and confident conviction. The thoughtfulness and fairness of her decision clearly impressed Judge Caprio. A ripple of laughter, tinged with respect, washed over the courtroom. Janice's fair judgment resonated with everyone. It was clear she understood the weight of responsibility and fairness. More importantly, Judge Caprio's interaction with the little girl had completely transformed the tense atmosphere. 
A smile crinkled the corners of his eyes as he acknowledged Janice's decision with a solemn nod and a sincere, thank you. He commended her, stating that her judgment mirrored his own, sending a wave of pride through Janice. However, a mischievous glint returned to Judge Caprio's eyes. He knew the mother's situation remained precarious, and true to his character, he wanted to offer some relief. He wanted to lessen her burden while simultaneously demonstrating to Janice that the law, while important, could also be tempered with compassion. Leaning forward, Judge Caprio presented Janice with yet another unexpected option, one that left her mother speechless. A ripple of laughter laced with respect washed over the courtroom. Janice's fair judgment resonated deeply with everyone. It was clear she grasped the concepts of responsibility and fairness with remarkable maturity. More importantly, Judge Caprio's interaction with the little girl had completely transformed the once tense atmosphere. A warm smile crinkled the corners of his eyes as he acknowledged Janice's decision with a solemn nod and a sincere, thank you. He commended her, stating that her judgment mirrored his own, sending a wave of pride through Janice. However, a mischievous glint returned to Judge Caprio's eyes. He knew the mother's situation remained precarious, and true to his character, he wanted to offer some relief. He wanted to lessen her burden while simultaneously demonstrating to Janice that the law, while important, could also be tempered with compassion. Leaning forward, Judge Caprio presented Janice with yet another unexpected option, one that left her mother speechless. This new possibility would not only ease their financial strain, but also leave a lasting impact on both the young girl and the courtroom as a whole. By this time, folks in the courtroom were unsure whether to smile or cry. Everybody was delighted by Judge Caprio's proposal, and at the same time blown away by that easily fair way he applied the law. After all, the law was there to protect people, not hurt them. The judge's empathy and kindness had touched the hearts of everyone present in the courtroom. Janice's mom was visibly moved as the reality of the situation hit home. A few hours earlier, this court appearance had laid like a mountain before her. She had convinced herself that she would have to pay the ticket and had no idea where she would find the money to make up for the dollar one hundred. But now her daughter had been treated to a seat on a real judge's bench and had even been allowed to make a judgment. Judge Caprio nodded solemnly at Janice. I think you've made a wise choice, Janice, he said. You've shown us how important kindness and understanding is. His words and example were a powerful lesson for all present. It showed that there was something profoundly moral about compassion's place in the justice system. Hand in hand, Janice and her mother walked out of the courtroom, leaving behind not just a resolved legal issue, but a profound life lesson. Judge Caprio's simple act of kindness had forever altered their perception of law enforcement. In Janice, he had unknowingly created a powerful advocate for his compassionate approach to justice. This case served as a stark reminder that sometimes the spirit of the law surpasses the letter. Was this a fair ruling? We think so. It showcased the power of understanding and empathy within the legal system. Have you ever witnessed such unexpected compassion from a judge? Share your stories in the comments below, we'd love to hear them. But for now, it's time to wrap things up. Catch you in the next video. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.